Welcome back to the show. I've got a really amazing story. True, true story. A buddy of mine, rest his soul, Jean Marie Dalmo, and I went to uh, the 92nd uh, Air Squadron in Van Nuys one day for drinks and got plastered. We got out of the restaurant. And he wanted to drive the motorcycle. So I said, sure. So we were going through the Sepulveda Pass at a very fast pace, and we got pulled over. The uh, motorcycle cops, no, they weren't motorcycle cops. The the cops were were questioning us, and because Jean-Marie was driving, one guy questioned him, and the other guy was talking to me. And instead of the guy talking to me, I said, can I go take a leak? And he said, I can't tell you you can do that. So I went to the bushes and took a leak, came back. And we both didn't have our driver's license on us. The motorcycle was unregistered, and we were clearly inebriated. I said to the the cop, (laughs) I was telling him that uh, I'm a bachelor, and I'm traveling a lot, and uh, maybe I just couldn't keep up with things. So I think he took that as a brag. And I guess Joe Marie and I are about five feet from one another, so he hears what I'm saying, I hear what he's saying. And I said to the cop, well, I've heard, the first the cop, after I said that, said to me, oh, he, I guess because he took it, I was bragging. He said, oh, yeah, I don't have any fun. I'm married. You know, in a sarcastic tone like that. And these are my exact words back to him. I said, what do you mean you don't have any fun? Your wife's a lot of fun. And <laughs> Jean Marie just about shit his pants. Figured we're going straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. And they let us go. They let us go without a ticket. Drunk. I mean, it was, it was a miracle. And to this day, I always wonder why they let us go. And it can only be because it was the most outrageous line they ever heard in that situation. And so, it's a story I still can never forget. We got on that motorcycle and took off after they let us go and couldn't stop laughing. Uh, you know, you ever laugh where your cheeks just start cramping? We laughed for 45 minutes. And I still laugh about it years later. And I imagine that cop still tells the story of the most outrageous line he ever heard. And hopefully he didn't give his wife any shit when, she got home, when he got home. <laughs> It was an amazing story. That's a verbatim quote. And uh, goes to show you, in those days, this was many years ago, 40 years ago, the, the cops were much nicer. And they would cut you slack sometimes. Uh, they cut me slack many times. I can't believe how lucky I was. But what happened was somebody got cut loose one day and got in an accident when they actually should have got arrested and put in jail, but because they got in an accident, because they got didn't get arrested, and they got in an accident, they sued the police force and won. So after that, I don't think the police were very kind to be very, you know, understanding and cut anybody any slack. Of course, you shouldn't drink and drive. I was young and stupid, so don't, don't think that you can get away with it, because you're not. So don't drink and drive, ladies and gentlemen. Hire a Lyft driver or don't or don't drive motorcycles, one of the two. Thanks for listening. Be fantastic, everybody. It's a fantastic story, I think. Let me know what you think.